Hi, it's Kai. Welcome to my channel if you're new here and if you're not, welcome back. I have here a plain box. You don't know what it is unless you look at my title. But this is the box for the Book Road PH Book Crate for the months of April and May with the theme Ruthless Realms. Yes, I have no idea why this is so blank. Where were you from? What are you, box? Okay, before I open the box, let's talk about the theme first. It's an author feature box and the author is Victoria Aviard, who is the author of the Red Queen series. Have you read that? As we open the box, you will see a very red tissue paper. Right, spoilers just fell out, but this is also a letter from the Boko PH Book Rate. You'll find our little surprise boxed with love. Happy anniversary to us Bocordians. Oh, there is a purple, a purple tissue paper inside it covering the rest of the boxes and I see a crown. That is new. <laughs> I've never had a crown from a box before and it's silver, silver plated. Should I or should I not wear this? I think I could if I spray it with alcohol. Give me a second. A few minutes later. I'm so sad. Uh. I'm having fun with this. Um, it doesn't sit very well on my head. Okay, the next item we have is a fabric item and ooh. Oh, she's wearing the same crown, but upside down. Or am I wearing it upside down? I don't know. She's wearing it like this. <laughs> like this? It's just, it's this. This feels so wrong on my head. But she's wearing it this way. So this is the illustration that we have in this fabric item. It's too small to be a tapestry, so probably just like a fabric poster. The next item we have is a pack of dried orange slices. I really loved getting the orange slices. It's the dehydrated orange slices from Rustans, and this is all ward dried orange slices exported from the mountains of the ward. Drink as a tea or infused water. Perfect to detoxify impurities. Next item we have is a, oh, it's a pin. I forgot what this is called. A badge, a pin. Let's continue. Um, there is a sticker here that says anyone can betray anyone. Wow, you have trust issues. The backing card of this is also the map which is associated with the story. The next item is the same thing. It's a map. It looks so much like a real map if you ask me, which is cool. All right, the next items because they're it's plural. So many bookmarks. A bookmark with an illustration of a hand holding the sword the wrong way because it's holding the blade. It says, we don't choose what we're born to. The next bookmark is Rice Hand. And then we have, it's a Game of Thrones bookmark with a line by Daenerys Targaryen that says, I will do what queens do. I will rule. Okay, the next bookmark is Feyre. So we have Feyre and Rice Hand. And the last one is a line from the Kingdom of Ash by Sarah J. Maas. Let's make this a fight worthy of a song. This is just a personal preference, but I will be really honest. I'm not into this type of bookmarks because for one thing, I don't use bookmarks that often. And I prefer bookmarks that are specific to a book itself. And it's better if it's like the book that comes with the box. That's the perfect bookmark for me in a themed box like this. Okay, the next item we have is, oh, it's a tumbler, but oh, what happened here? The paint has been scratched off. This is a damaged item and it's very disappointing to receive this in a box. Uh oh. <laughs> Adorable doggy, adorable doggy. What's in your nose? This is the mirror candle, rice red as the dawn. It's supposed to smell like floral and lightning. What does lightning smell like? I wonder. I think the soy wax that they're using really has this strong milky scent because it smells like milk and flowers at the same time. 
And there are violet flowers on top as well. They're loose, I think. Oh, yes, they're loose. <laughs> okay, the next item is. Oh, okay. It is a banner. There's a logo of the rising sun in the middle. Scarlet Guard, rise red as the dawn. It's the line by the Scarlet Guard. Item number question mark. It's a box within a box. It's a box option. Okay. What we have is an assortment of items. Okay, we have another pin, a badge that says Certified Book Crate Lover. And the logo of Book Card PH is in the middle. Uh, next, we have a washi tape, which is, oh my goodness, purple. It's purple and glittery. The next thing we have is another washi tape, which is a glittery gold. Next, we have a soft enamel pin of, I think it's the front area of a bookstore, and it says books. It's black and white. Next, we have, um, I'm not sure what this is, if it's a perfume. Um, it says Aileen Galathinius Peppermint Sweet Almond. So, it's a roller. It's just peppermint. Mmm refreshing the next item we have in this tiny box is a hand mirror by happy smile which is made in china oh it's just a round hand mirror and it looks like a hand mirror that's fit for a kid i'm not a fan of this it looks like a toy Ooh, hi kai you have a very oily nose right now at the back is an illustration from Alice in Wonderland, the rabbit and Alice herself. I think they're falling. Yes, so those are the items in this tiny box. And the rest are wiggly worms. Right, let's put them back here. Your tiny, tiny things. Finally, we have the book itself. We have their special pouch. And here we have the book itself. What does it look like? This is the Round Breaker and it's a signed first edition by Victoria Aveyard. Now I get it why this bookmark looks like this. That's the illustration of the book. I think there are only 20 of these signed copies and it's a first come first serve basis. Okay. Ooh! The inside part of the book, oh, okay. it's just black and uh, the lettering at the side is pure gold. Lovely. Okay, we have a map. It's colored. Right here on the top left of the map, it says all work. This is such a detailed map. I love it. Right. <laughs> this, is the, this is the signature. I wonder what the author was thinking when she signed this book because it looks like she's a little bit angry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Storytelling time. Save the world or end it. A strange darkness is growing in the ward. Even Harani and Amarant can feel it. Tucked away in her small town at the edge of the sea. Fate knocks on her door in the form of a mythical immortal and a lethal assassin who tell Corrine that she is the last of an ancient lineage with the power to save the world from destruction. Because the man who would burn kingdoms to the ground is raising an army unlike any seen before, bent on uprooting the foundations of the world, with poison in his heart and a stolen sword in his hand, He'll break the realm itself to claim it, and only Corain can stop him. Alongside an unlikely group of reluctant allies, Corain finds herself on a desperate journey to complete an impossible task, with untold magic singing in her blood and the fate of the world on her shoulders. First of all, did I say the name of the protagonist right? Corain? Is it Corain or Corainy? Coriny. Sometimes I wonder where the authors get their ideas for names. So this is another book that has magic in the story. Those are all the items in the Ruthless Realms box. What do I think about this box? I'm going to be very honest. I'm not that impressed with the items in the box. First of all, I've got a damaged item. Okay, this should, this could have been a wonderful item to get because I do drink a lot of liquid. 
and receiving a damaged item from a box that cost 1700 plus the shipping fee is not a happy feeling. Also, a lot of the items were printouts and unless they're a very good quality, um, I don't really consider printouts as part of the uh, merch. I wish they would do improvements with their printouts because printing on photo paper does not really make it high quality. I think one or two bookmarks in one box is enough. Receiving all of them in one, I don't know what I'm going to do unless I make a paper fan. And I'm not sure about the candle source that they get their candles from because Bibliocrate. Your candles need a little more FO. FO, fragrance oil. Because I got a six month subscription last year, I'm going to get six boxes and this is the second box from those six. The second box is not that great. So I hope they make more improvements on their third box. I think I would be happier to see fewer items in the box but of good quality. That's that's one of the things that make a customer happy, good quality items. That's it for today. I don't know what you think about this box. If you have a different opinion and you were a little bit offended, I'm sorry to say that, but this is a nook where I review boxes like this, honestly. I hope you have a great day and if you like this video, click on that like button down there and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Don't forget to click on that notification bell down there so that you'll be notified of upcoming videos. I have more boxes to open. Let's do the orange slices. Bye! It's like a howler if I do this. Ronald Weasley! Frustration. Oh no! <laughs> I will do what queens do. I will rule. <laughs> Even Corrine and Emerit. Corrine? 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 Corrine?